Hello friends of Queens Manor, Stonehaven Lodge, Hillsview Acres, and all who are joining in this service. A warm welcome is extended to you all this Christmas. You couldn't be with us and we couldn't be with you in person, so we decided to come to you in this video, send you our love, and help you celebrate this special season. By spirit, we are together in this time of worship. Let there be a quiet time among us. Come apart from our normal routine and dwell in the presence of God, who is our source of being. May the silence which we now share quiet us touch our need, refresh our courage, enlarge our wonder. I now call upon Reverend Judy and Craig for the lighting of the candles of the Advent week. <coughs> Over the past four Sundays, we at Trinity Church have lit our Advent candles. We light them again and remember the way, hope, peace, joy, and love are always brought to birth in, through, and among all creation. When we lit these candles, it was a time for memories and remembering to wonder and to give thanks, and a quiet awakening to beauty that still walk, lives on through the strife of personal grief and born to our world. Now we come to light a Christmas candle. It is a friendly candle. It brings light and love as we celebrate this season. It is a candle of understanding which drives away fear. It is a candle of truth. It will lead one in unknown paths to learn more about the mysteries of life. Once, Once upon a time, a little baby was born to help us to love and understand one another. And they called his name Jesus. May the love that brings life into all humanity and all of creation be born in our lives today. This Christmas, may we celebrate the richness and diversity of life. And we will now have our first hymn. God of creation, shaper of seeds and stars, of planets and of people, is here with us. Jesus born in Bethlehem, girdling, crying, laid in a manger. Is here with us. Breath of the universe flickering, dancing in the candle flame. Is here with us. In all of our living, may we be free to see things afresh, to be more fully alive, and have the courage to keep faith in the future of humanity. Carolyn Howard, The Reflection. Joy to the world. But what is joy? Is it colorful? Is it expensive? Can it be gift wrapped? No, it's none of these. Is it happiness? Is it excitement? Is it blessedness? Yes, it is these and more, much more. Joy is for now. It is completeness. It is consummation. It is holy. 
Joy is that painting on that day, of that time, in that place. Joy is that poem, the umpteenth time through. Joy is that smile exchanged that day. And joy is the story of a baby and wise ones and angels and shepherds and stars. It's not fact, it cannot be proved, but it is truth. In that story is completeness and consummation, because in that life was completeness, completeness and consummation and holiness. Joy to the world. May this Christmas day bring you joy. We'll now sing joy to the world. Let us pray. O God, our Father, whose word has come on us in the holy child of Bethlehem, may the light of faith illumine our hearts and shine in our words and deeds through him who is Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns to be the Holy Spirit, one God, now and and we will have a reading from the book of Isaiah and Reverend Shirley. No, no Carolyn no. Okay. <clears throat> a reading from the book of Isaiah. The people that walked in darkness had seen a great light. On those who live in a land of deep shadow, a light has shone. For there is a child born for us, an heir given to us upon whose shoulder government will rest. They will name this one Wonder Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. This dominion and this peace will grow without end on David's judgment seat and over David's realm, established and made secure in justice and integrity from this time onward and forevermore. The word of the Lord. Amen. We'll now have the gradual hymn. The Lord be with you. And also with you. The Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the countryside, close by, there were shepherds who lived in the fields and took it in turns to watch the flocks during the night. The angel of God appeared to them, and the glory of God shone around them. They were terrified. But the angel said, do not be afraid. Listen, I bring you news of great joy, a joy to be shared by the whole people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you, who is the Christ. And here is a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. Mm -hmm. And suddenly with the angel there was a great throng of the heavenly host praising God and singing. Glory to God in the highest heaven and peace to all who enjoy God's favor. Now, when the angels had gone from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which God has made known to us. So they hurried away and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. When they saw the child, they repeated what they had been told of him. And everyone who heard it was astonished at what the shepherds had to say. As for Mary, 
she treasured all of these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherds went back glorifying and praising God for all that they had heard and seen. It was exactly as they had been told. The Gospel of Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of God, our Creator, Redeemer, and Sustainer. Amen. Christmas is a reminder that every child is a Savior, especially to his or her parents. Our children save us from closing our mind to new wisdom, from losing our zest for living, and from spending our days eagerly and rigidly. Through identifying with them, we become again as little children and experience afresh the thrill of discovering the new. When a child is born, a parent is created. Who can hold a newly born babe in their arms without tenderness? What parent does not wonder what secret feelings move behind a baby's face? For who does not ponder without a prayer the possibilities the future hides? Who could wish for eternity if children were to cease being born? We have much reason to celebrate Christmas as a day of thanksgiving for children. Christian Christmas should remind us that every night a child is born is a holy night. But sometimes we forget how the love of a child transforms us. Sometimes we forget, which leads to a touching and inspirational story called the Gold Wrapping Paper. Once upon a time, there was a man who worked very hard just to keep food on the table for his family. This particular year, a few days before Christmas, he punished his little five-year-old daughter after learning that she had used up the family's only roll of expensive gold wrapping paper. As money was tight, he became even more upset when on Christmas Eve, he saw that the child had used all the expensive gold paper to decorate one shoebox she had put under the Christmas tree. He was also concerned about where she had gotten the money to buy what was in the shoebox. Nevertheless, the next morning, the little girl, filled with excitement, brought the gift box to her father and said, This is for you, Daddy. As he opened the box, the father was embarrassed by his earlier overreaction, regretting how he had punished her. But when he opened the shoebox, he found it was empty, and again his anger flared. Don't you know, young lady, he said harshly, when you give someone a present, there's supposed to be something inside the package. The little girl looked up at him, a sad tears rolling from her eyes, and whispered, Daddy, it's not empty. I glued kisses into it until it was all full. The father was crushed. He fell on his knees and put his arms around his precious little girl. He begged her to forgive him for his unnecessary anger. A short time later, an accident took the life of the child. It is told the father kept this little gold box by his bed for all the years of his life. Whenever he was 
discouraged or face difficult problems, would open the vault, take out an imaginary kiss, and remember the love of this beautiful child who had put it there. In a very real sense, each of us has been given an invisible golden box filled with unconditional love and kisses from our children, family, friends, and God. There is no more precious possession anyone can hold. May it be so. In this season of love, may we all remember the beautiful love of a small child, especially the love of the Christ child. From the Ecumenical Bible Study Group, Trinity Church in the parish of Salt we wish you a meaningful and love-filled Christmas season and a new year ahead. May your days be filled with love, joy, growth, and inspiration. Amen. Together, here, all together, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. This is the first and great commandment. The second is like it. Love our mind and your yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Pray. We'll now do the prayers. God, born as a baby, we pray for children who cry and are not comforted for parents who fear for their children's future, and for the lonely who are scared to let people into their lives. Infant Jesus, help us to have compassion on each other, to overcome our own fears, and to find ways to shine your love into the lives of those we meet each day. Loving God, we look to you. God, for whom there was no room at the inn, we pray for those denied shelter or asylum, those who are trafficked for profit, and those for whom a safe haven have suddenly becomes dangerous. Jesus, through whom God rests God, reach us, help us who have a voice to speak wisely, to encourage justice, and offer hope and hospitality. Loving God, we look to you. you God, whose coming was announced with words of peace and joy. We pray for a world where conflict dominates news headlines, where the indecision of a few leads to hardship for many, where the gulf between wealth and poverty widens. Jesus, in the humility of your birth, help us to recognize where we risk adding to the world's strife and inspire us to seek ways of bringing people together for the benefit of this community and to the glory of your name. Loving God, we look to you. God, who came to bring salvation to the world, we pray for those who do not recognize or know you, whose hearts have become hardened to your message through a loss of trust and the pain of past hurts. Jesus, who brought forgiveness of sin and the hope of resurrection, Help us to acknowledge our mistakes, to make room in our hearts for the apologies that others offer, and to receive the gift of your Son as a living witness to the new life that you bring. Loving God, we look to you. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And we will say together the prayer that the Lord taught us 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We will now have a poem by Helen Harrington. It is entitled, E. My Lord, he stood by me in his love. He's more than I thought he was. My heart ached and pulled me down. He lifted me up. In him I found a friend. I did not know was there. He treated me with such gentle care. The road seemed so long, there was no end. But him beside me, my old friend, my love strengthened me. And I found the courage to fight another round. When I am well and hope to be, he will see it differently. Not a sad and lonely face, my same old smile will take its place. With his help, I became strong enough to begin again. Our time has come to an end, and we send you our love and our hope to wish each and every one of you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. May God be with you until we meet again. And we shall have one last hymn before the closing blessing. The blessing of the manger God's creation all around. The blessing of the shepherds, God's people with feet on the ground. The blessing of the angels, good news for all, and peace for the world. Be with you all, now and forever. Amen. Amen.